I had a nightmare the other night. Uh, I told I told somebody about this, and this isn't this is absolutely true. I had like a I'm not gonna name their name, but they were a friend in comics, an editor and stuff, and we were friends for ever since I was basically born to DC. Um, he knew stuff about my family life and all of this stuff, and good friend, you know. At, or at the time, I I thought. And I was like, yeah, this isn't working, you know, comics, everything, you know, we just bitch about the industry in general. And I, I was like, I, I'm, I'm think, dude, I'm just, yeah, fuck it. I'm going to do comics gate. And he's like, uh, you know, like, you know, you should talk to me about it. He was concerned trolling me and all of this. And I was like, nah, I know what I'm going to do. And this isn't working. And he was very pro diversity and stuff like that shit happened over time. It didn't all happen at once. And, and representation in comics, he was, you know, considering his, it was, considering he was a white male, it was very weird. He was like, hey, let me write a black character into this and maybe they'll hire me. And I'm like, that's really not the right way to approach that. But he was doing that and uh, had a nightmare the other night that we were arguing. And I haven't talked to him since I came into CG because all my friends in the industry just don't talk to me. And, uh, because they're not friends and i had this nightmare that he was telling me well what are you going to do for food what are you going to do you know for a living you've ruined your name you're not gonna whatever and like i'm I'm talking to him on the phone but i'm on a train and then i literally and then I woke... showed up and said sex work sex work right the answer to everything no i woke up and i was so terrified that I was like, oh shit, I'm having a kid. What am I going to do to feed my family? What am I going to do for a living? I have to start all over on something again. You know, it's all over. And it took me a second to realize. I'm like, oh shit, I got an Indiegogo. And I, I literally was so, that dream seemed so real to me. And the panic, that I grabbed my phone and checked my campaign just to feel relief to fall back asleep. And... Yeah. It's so to me, like the stuff you went through. This is so gay. It this is so gay. I, well, what did you want me to tell you? I had this dream last night, and I woke of up glory. with an erection. And yes. like, what? No, no, I'm not. And it really didn't help no, that. But, but it really I, didn't help that that morning Shane couldn't find me in bed. He was like, "Oh my god, my wife is missing." Yeah, well, that that was weird too. Like Yanzi wasn't in bed, and I'm like, "Where the fuck? What the fuck is happening?" And it, like, so that I had a that that also scared the fuck. She was downstairs getting food or something. So I, I, uh, anyways, back to you. I, I'm like, I to me, the stuff that happened to you, no matter how successful you are, every now and then, it, your subconscious it's got to like rattle you, right, or anger or something. Shane, I'm a multimillionaire. I know that, but still, you don't get angry about that? Being a multimillionaire? No, just the stuff that happened. I mean, still, that happened, though. Doesn't no. matter. Like, I mean, it's the best thing that happened to you, probably, in a weird way. But still, like, and to watch that, that, that shit grinning motherfucker come up on your stream and bring it up as, like, a point of reference and... Well, maybe there's other reasons. Maybe it's, it's like, like it happened and it wasn't just and it wasn't, it, it literally happened. And for people who don't know, I mean, I remember telling you, it was like, dude, these creators in this room are talking shit as it was happening. I remember telling you this and I saw these groups and I saw the things these people said. And it's just, to me, like it, it, it like infuriates me a little bit the, the, that people still just, I don't know. Like they don't really appreciate that situation or how fucked up. I will never is. be as pre uh, as appreciated as I should be, Shane. And I hear what you're saying, and I want you to know uh, I feel it. I, I feel your agony in the fact that people don't recognize my greatness still to this day. They don't appreciate what I do, but one day maybe they will. In the meantime, Shane, mm. you're worried about what people who are literally $100 missing from their bank account from being on the street. You're worried about what they have to say about their assessment of your future. Here's what I came to realize. Uh, I came to realize that 
my talent is undeniable. Just mm -hmm. undeniable. Yours is too, by, by a long oh. shot, more than mine. Oh, your, your talent is undeniable. Uh, and your talent is sellable. They do not have talent. They do not have what you have. You're also very charming. Me too. Mm. We're damn charming. And, and Yanzi is to die for. I mean, she's mm -hmm. just adorable. Can't wait yep. to see Pterodactyl. Oh, thanks. Y you have to understand. We are so far ahead of them. We are spitting on their heads from 40,000 feet straight up in the air. It doesn't matter what they say. It doesn't matter what they do. It doesn't matter what they did. It's over. That's in the past. It's in the past. I want people to know. I want to tell people now and then, not all the time, because then you sound like a crybaby. But I want to tell people every now and then what cancel culture is what it meant to us. I want people to have that reality brought home to them. I want them to see it so they know it's real. Uh, but I, I just want to move forward. I, I've been blessed and so have you. I, I'm so lucky. I, you know, all this awful stuff happened to me. Uh, and uh, the end result was just uh, more blessings than I could even imagine. You're the same way, Shane. You are going to be just fine. And I will tell you one thing. I'm your friend, and I will make sure that you're just fine. You oh. and Yancy and Pterodactyl, I will be here. I will. I have your back. This crowd has your back. Hmm. You're going to be just fine. Don't worry about this. Don't worry about these people. They are the ones who need to worry. They don't have Substack deals. And those hmm. who did get Substack deals quickly shut the F up. 